Welcome everyone to the NerdyBots demo. We're going to show you how to get the warp drive up and running on your PC and get you started as soon as we can. So first of all, you're going to come to the NerdyBots.com website. You're going to go to warp drive and you're going to drop down to downloads. That's going to bring up our downloads page and you're going to click the Dropbox download button. When you do that, you're going to download a zip file from the Dropbox folder, and that's going to give you everything you need to get started. Okay, so once you download the zip file, you're going to have a folder that looks similar to what you have in front of you here on the screen. First thing you're going to want to do is open up this PDF file. That's going to have all the instructions that we're talking about here in this video, and this will be here for your reference in case you need to go back and look at anything. So the first thing you're going to do here is create a folder where you want to store warp drive and place the following directly in that folder. So you're going to take the main GUI.exe and the two images folders and pop those into that folder. So we're going to do that here. We're going to create a folder called warp drive and we're going to copy in that folder and the main GUI.exe and we're going to drop those right in here into the warp drive folder. So once you complete that step, you're going to run the following two setup files that are included in your zip folder. One of those is auto hotkey and the other one is Tesseract OCR. So what you're going to want to do is install both of these. We'll walk through that really quick. You're going to want to uh, run the, the setup.exe file. Once you give it permission, it'll open up and start to install. We're just going to do express installation. We're going to leave the install path as the default. And it says installation complete. And now you can install Tesseract OCR. So select your language. Here we're going to select English. And then click next. I agree. Install for everyone. You can leave all the default settings here. And we recommend that you leave the default destination folder as well. All right, so once that's completed, you can click next and finish. And then you're on to the next step. So included in the download are the rippers mod files that you're going to need to run warp drive. These are required. So there's the community patch settings, that TOML file and the version DLL file. You're going to take both of those and you're going to copy them into your game path where Star Trek Fleet Command is, is installed. So I'm going to take the version.dll and the community patch settings. Now keep in mind we have two different versions here. One for 1920 by 1080 resolution and the other one for uh, 3840 by 2160. So if you're running 2K, grab the first one. If you're running 4K, grab the second one. In this case, we're running the 1920 by 1080. So once you copy the two files that you need, you're going to go to where your Star Trek Fleet Command game is installed and you're going to paste both of those files in here. Now remember to rename your TOML file. You're going to want to get rid of that resolution extension on the end there and it's going to be community patch settings.toml. Okay, once you copy those files in here, you're going to want to Go back to the instructions page where it's going to tell you how to set your scaling for your monitor. If you're at 1920 by 1080, you're going to want to set your scale to 100%. If you're 3840 by 2160, you're going to want to set your scale to 150%. You can right click anywhere on your screen, hit display settings. Click your display settings and then come down to your scaling. And for 1920 by 1080, you want to stay at 100%. So in 3840 by 2160, you're going to want to change that to 150%. Now granted, keep in mind that if you want to use a different setting for Ripper's Mod or a different display scale, you can do so. However, you will have to go in and change all of the images that are included with Warp Drive because they will not work if you change either the UI scaling for Ripper's Mod or the display scale for Windows. So please keep those at the settings we described here until you've had a chance to get familiar enough with the tool to change anything. All right, so now that all your files in place, you're going to want to run the Star Trek Fleet Command game because there are a few settings within the game that we need to set up. 
the easy way to do that is to just navigate back to the folder where you copied your toml and your version.dll and double click the prime.exe that'll launch the star trek fleet command game and from here you're going to want to go into your settings so once in the game click on your avatar and settings and that will bring you to this menu you're going to want to click general and make sure extended zoom is on and then go into your graphic settings and make sure that your full screen is set to windowed mode. Okay, once you've completed these steps, now you're ready to run the warp drive. So navigate to where your main GUI.exe file is and double click it. So Windows Defender prevented an unrecognized app. We're going to click more info and run anyway. Once warp drive is loaded, you're going to be presented with a screen like this. So now the first thing you're going to want to do once warp drive is up and running is click the setup button. And the setup button will bring up the setup window. And here you're going to go and copy in your serial ID that you get from the nerdybots.com website. You're also going to want to tell warp drive where your Star Trek Fleet Command game path is and where Tesseract is. So you're going to want to click Browse, go to your C file, Games, Star Trek Fleet Command, Default, Game, Prime.exe, and click Open. And you're going to want to find where Tesseract is installed on your PC. In general, that's going to be under Program Files, Tesseract OCR, and you can find Tesseract.exe down here. Click Open. And click Submit. Okay, so once all your files in place, you're going to want to navigate to the nerdybots.com website. You're going to want to log in under my account. If you haven't created an account yet, you're going to see this screen. It's very simple. Just type in your email address and click register and you'll be ready to go. You're going to want to copy your serial ID into the Warp Drive setup panel. Setup. And we're going to paste this serial ID in here and we're going to click submit. So when you click set up again, you're going to see uh, your serial ID. You're going to see the, the game path and the test rack path. Once those things are in place, you're almost, you're all set to get started.